everyone, I'm Michelle. Yeah, I'm a mother of two. The elder boy, Hector. Hector is turning uh, 12 this year. I have another girl, Helena. Helena is turning 9. Hector was born in year 2012. So when Hector was younger, actually, the family noticed that there's something special about Hector. We noticed that, you know, he likes to do things in a certain way. He was actually quite anxious wherever he meets people. But when Hector turns about I think 8, um, to really do a formal assessment. Um, results came out, he is mildly autistic, meaning that, um, but more so in terms of um, his uh, social anxiety skills, as well as I think uh, more of his rigidity in, in thinking. Yeah, and moreover, um, he's lacking in, in terms of uh, social engagement skills. And of course, um, low self-esteem. In school, to be honest, I think he's a loner. He's always alone. And maybe because of um, the way of him not being able to control himself, uh, end up, I think he gets into arguments more <laughs> than making friends. Lah. So when we noticed that, we actually fed back to the, um, the psychologist. And, and then she started arranging for play dates. So one-on-one -on -one play dates with a few uh, people until actually he met Viom. So we managed to link up and then uh, Nupa suggested that there's this uh, community uh, basically is to get boys which are of a um, similar age group. They come together to actually hang out with each other, play some games that at the same time they read some case studies. From there on, you know, it's, it's more uh, with a facilitator or a counsellor to actually help the kids uh, in a way, uh, bring out certain values in them. So I thought, why not give it a try? So we started, uh, or rather I started bringing him every Saturday. Actually, I do notice that he has, in a way, he enjoyed the company. So uh, so initially, I was a little bit uh, hesitant, you know, because when they mentioned play basketball, <laughs> uh, sorry, Hector is not really a uh, sports person, you know? For him, uh, he, he just prefers to, okay, I will just lie down on my bed, I will just play my iPad or I'll just be on the computer, play my video games. You don't ask me to do sports because sports is tiring. But if you ask me to eat, then maybe that's Hector. So then he went the first time, didn't know what to expect. And after the first session, I asked him, I said, so Hector, um, so how, how, how was the session? He said, oh, actually mommy, I enjoy it. I said, oh, that's good. I said, would you like to come back again next week? He said, yeah. Sure, why not? So actually, I was a bit, or uh, rather, uh, Hector's father, my husband and I, we were a bit taken aback by that uh, change because initially we thought, yeah, maybe first time after that, he would just say, Mummy, no, no, uh, uh, just spare me, you know, I just want to return to my old self. But he shows enthusiasm and then he will, he will start asking me, so, you know, at the beginning of the week, he will ask me, oh, so Mummy, are we meeting? Am I meeting the boys again uh, this coming Saturday? Or what sort of activities will we be doing? And so forth. Uh. So I do see a change in Hector. He, he acknowledges that actually he has friends now. Okay, why so? For a long time, you know, when we ask him, so Hector, do you have friends? He say, oh, I say, how about those classmates of yours in school? Oh, mommy, they are my acquaintances. I was like, oh, acquaintance, I think. No, but those are your classmates, they, are, they should be your friends. He said, no, they are just a twin friends. They are not my friends. But for this group of boys, he used, they are my friends. I think why? Maybe because with the help of the uh, facilitator and the counsellor, it makes him feel at ease. It, makes, it, it creates this very comfortable, very safe environment for him to share his thoughts without any prejudice, without any judgement. And most importantly, I think they take him who he is without really, you know, expecting, oh, you have to be this, you have to conform to that, and so forth. So we are very, very happy with um, Hector's, uh, I would say Hector's improvement. I mean, we really see that he has actually, in a way, get out from his comfort zone a bit. We do really see that he now takes a little bit of effort uh, to try to engage people more and uh, we are also uh, I mean through these friends to be honest I think he also dare and willing to try something new okay for example Yon suggested okay why don't we go rock climbing <laughs> okay rock climbing as you know 
uh, physically is very challenging. And Hector is quite big and he's quite bulky. La. So when I say, oh Hector, we are going rock climbing, he said, oh, okay, let's go. And and I could see that, you know, he, you know, at, at the session, no doubt, it's challenging to him. But he tries because his friends are there to encourage him. Okay, so Hector has been somebody who is very shy about saying sorry. <laughs> he doesn't say sorry for a very, very long time since he was young. For him, sorry seems to be something that is, is a very negative thought. So wherever he makes a mistake, right, he'll just run away. He won't say sorry, he'll just run away. But recently, I mean, we see that he is more forthcoming in actually apologizing for something that he has done like very very even very very minor things like you know he last time when he used to bump into you he would just run away but now when he bumps into you he will say oh sorry so so this is i think this is something that is uh, positive he is also getting a little bit uh, more patient uh, why i say so because um it, it has always been that she's he's like the machine gun you know once he starts talking then he will never stop yeah you have to actually stop here and say that hey hector uh, stop talking, you know, because uh, stop interacting. Now he will give you an opportunity and a chance to actually talk. So he will kind of like, uh, in a conversation, he will actually take a pause. Hector has benefited from this Baha'i Junior group. I, I told Nupo that I really thank her because without this engagement, without this, uh, this interaction or this opportunity, right? Actually, we won't know. I didn't even know that, you know, such community actually exists. And if there are parents whereby you have kids who need social engagements, who need support, please join the Baha'i Junior Group. Yeah. Thank you.